Good morning, everyone. It's a cloudy day by us, and Buck is excited for his breakfast. You excited? Can I sit down first? Of course. Look at you. You have no patience. <laughs> no patience. You have no patience, big boy. And his antlers look extra bigger. <sighs> oh, and Red is here. Red just got here. Hi, Red. Hey, pretty boy. It's so cute how he looks at me when I talk to him. Hi. Hi, pretty boy. Red the carnival is here. Hi. Hi, pretty boy. I should name him pretty boy because every time I say pretty boy, he looks like he tilts his head to the side. It's so cute. Yeah, Red is down. He's probably collecting seed of bread. And yep, and the corn. I threw corn and seed of bread. The squirrels, they should be coming here soon. Cause usually they, oh, Bluey, is that you? Is that you, Bluey? There's a blue jay too, but Buck's head is in the way. Everybody's coming here this morning. These are all popping up. That was a big piece of bread, Bluey. Yeah, that was a big piece. <laughs> and this big boy is over here eating. Wow, he just grabbed that big piece of bread and flew away. That was a big piece. I was surprised that he could carry it. You enjoying your breakfast, Buck? I wish I would see Thumper. Thumper will be popping up soon once everything starts growing and becomes more green. I think that's why Buck, uh, Thumper hangs out on our side because he hangs out by the grass area on our side. Because my father-in-law sees him all the time on our side, hopping around. I'll push the peanuts to the side so you can get them all. He cleans up his old ball. Good job, Buck. Good job. You did it. Good boy. Where are you going? You have corn and water in your bucket. You don't want nothing? He has a branch hanging out on his side. <laughs> That's a branch. So he was probably laying down before he came to me. Because he has a branch, a little branch stuck on his hair. But look at his hair, it's changing so... See the light hair is coming through underneath? That's his summer coat coming in. Yeah, yesterday guys, yesterday evening's dinner. I had to post it at night, which I was so upset because I tried to upload the video at 5 p.m. I started uploading it. And usually what I do is I, I press upload and then I just put my phone down. I'm like, all right, the video's gonna go through. Then around seven o'clock at night, I checked it and I noticed it was still not uploading. And I was like, what the hell? Like, what's going on here? But then I was looking into it and onto YouTube and a lot of creators, like people that make YouTube videos and, you know, post YouTube videos, they were complaining that something was like happening, that they couldn't post their videos. Like it was taking forever. So I thought it was just like my video, like me going through it. But no, it was a whole bunch of other people that were trying to post YouTube videos at night and they were going crazy, like, you know, it was taking forever. So I was like, oh my God. But then last night, I think around 9 p.m., almost 10, that's when the video actually started uploading and went through. So I was like, oh my gosh. So hopefully this morning, everything got fixed where it doesn't happen again. Because I didn't want people thinking I didn't make an evening video. I was like, I did make it and I wanted to post it at the time that I normally post, which is 5 p.m., 5.30. And then it sucks because that happened. But then I got to post it. That's why I made a post about that to let you guys all know that, you know, I did try to post a video, but YouTube was glitching. Something was going on yesterday because I heard everybody was having problems posting videos. Now Buck is eating his corn and he still has a tick on his ear. That tick is holding on so tight. And when he has ticks on his ears, it's hard for me to remove it for him to stand still. Like on his face, he lets me remove it. But when they're on his ears, his neck, like places like that, it's hard for me to like 
you know, get a hold of it, grab it and take it off of him. So I have to let that fall off on its own. But besides that, Buck is doing amazing. He's doing really, really good. He's already changing his hair. The hair is changing. Oh, by his neck, you can see it more. You see how the summer coat is coming in? His hair is getting all like carrot, like a caramel color. You look so handsome, even when you have short hair, Buck. And it's so beautiful out today, even though it's cloudy. It's supposed to be a cloudy. It's cloudy by me today. Very cloudy. They're saying it's supposed to be a cloudy day all day. It's not supposed to rain. Oh, look, we got a squirrel. <laughs> he grabbed a piece of bread and he ran. He's going to go eat it on the tree. Yeah, so it's supposed to be cloudy by us all day, but honestly, it's nice out. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's nice. It's nice weather. I don't think we're going to probably see cold, cold weather anymore. That's a woodpecker that just made that noise, that bird. Now I know why the cartoon Woody Woodpecker is back. <laughs> because woodpeckers, they really do. They do like a laughing sound. Mm -mm. I put fresh water in this bucket. See, it's leaking out because it's. I like to overflow it, the water in his bucket. So if it leaks out, it's okay. At least I know he has a lot of water in his bucket. <laughs> Buck is probably like, I want to make sure I'm not dropping any food. Sometimes I don't think he likes sharing his bucket of food. Because there's days that he'll try to eat all the corn in one shot. And then there's days that he leaves some corn behind. But then he comes back in the afternoon to finish it. That's why I find corn in his bucket of water. Because <laughs> he always chews and drinks at the same time. Wow, his feet look somewhat so shiny, his shoes. Those, those are his feet. You know what's funny? Deers have like pointy feet. Like almost like if they're wearing heels. <laughs> if they're walking around with like high heels. Right? You guys walk around with high heels. so nice out it's crazy because this looks like snow right and it's all the flowers from that tree really buck you're leaving me again like that he's just going off he started doing that for breakfast that sometimes he eats and just leaves i know there's no other deer in there i mean i can't say for sure because i really don't know for sure but i feel like if there was another deer in there usually in the springtime they follow him so i feel like they would follow him up here so that's what makes me think there's not another deer up here. Like in this forest right now. I could be wrong. I don't know. But Buck, for breakfast, he's been eating and leaving. Like he'll hang out for a little bit. Well, not always. Like he stays for a little bit. He usually stays close by. I know in the afternoon around like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. like that, he'll be hanging out close by all the way till 5 o'clock. He'll stay close by until I come out. Today's Friday, which is exciting because tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow I do my grocery shopping. I always get so excited to do grocery shopping just to get out of the house, you know? Because with my son not having the shots, you know, I try not to take him to like stores, like, you know, like clothing stores, like, you know, stores where there's like a lot of people, like, let's say like a Walmart or Target, like stores like that. I don't want to take him until he gets the shots. Just because, like, you know, I don't know. And then in July, I'm going to be baptizing my son. He's going to be getting bat baptized. So pretty soon, me and my husband, we've got to start getting prepared for that. Like getting ready for that. Like to plan that stuff. I'm going to baptize him when he's like four months old. I know some people do it at five, six months. But I want to do it small while he's small. And he doesn't understand too, too much, you know. Because I feel like. If I do it at six, seven months, something like that, when he's that age, 
I feel like he's gonna understand more and then he's gonna probably flip out and scream and cry when he's around the priest and you know the priest has to put the holy water on his head and stuff so I'd rather do when he's like a lot smaller where he doesn't understand so my husband will get it over with <laughs> you're not thinking about jumping big boy are you and now he's about to poop really he's like he casually poops and like he'll just stand there smell things I'm sorry guys that you have to see that. I'll go like this. I always call bucks poop raisins because they look like raisins. I was gonna say, if he jumps over while I'm standing here, I'll be shocked. Oh, he found a vine that he likes to eat. Are you birds fighting for food? Don't be fighting. I hear two birds like surfing. All right, everyone, I gotta get going because my husband, he has to go to work in a little bit earlier today because he works out of his family business with his mother and uncle. So he's gotta be at work a little earlier today. Not like, you know, he doesn't leave at noon. He leaves before noon. So I gotta get going inside. So my husband could go get himself done with, like ready to go. But I hope everybody has a great day today. By us, it's cloudy. It's a cloudy day, but it's okay. It's not supposed to rain. I heard it's supposed to rain Sunday, which I don't mind one or two days of rain now, just so it could water all this dirt, could get like nice and watered, a good amount of water. That's no no baby making the noise. I think my father was outside because I hear noise a couple feet away from me. <laughs> That's why Buck walked away. He's like, let me walk away from this spot. I don't want to. Buck is smart, let me tell you, he's really smart. Like he would never jump over if my father-in-law is outside. He would never jump over. He only jumps over if me and my husband are outside. Like if we're standing outside, like on our porch, he'll jump over and let us see him, like, you know, let himself be known that he jumped over and he's on outside. Even if my husband talks to him and goes, really Buck, you're on outside now? <laughs> and my husband will talk to him. He won't get scared, he won't leave nothing. But the minute he sees my father-in-law, he runs. Like he knows he's not allowed. <laughs> Yep, yeah, because he knows, Buck probably knows, like, you know, he eats the stuff and my father-in-law doesn't like that. And the fence is broken, like, you know, over there. So we would have to put something there to, like, you know, for him not to jump. But me and my husband, we kind of, like, we kind of told his father not to because we always tell him, like, what if, like, you know, Buck feels safer to be on our side one day. Like, you know, there's, let's say, God forbid, there's a person or somebody in there walking around and Buck wants to feel safe and he jumps over to be on our side. So that's why we don't really block anything, like put anything there that he can jump over. We do it for him. But I know sometimes, I guess it's not a good idea to do that because he does do damage on our side. I showed you guys yesterday all the stuff he ate. Right? You ate all that stuff. Meanwhile, you have so many greens on your side. He has so much green stuff on his side, you see? It's all green. And pretty soon, the four-leaf clovers are going to grow on his side over here. It's just probably going to take time, but they're going to grow. Little by little. Yeah, so I'm going to get going. I know I said that before. <laughs> Remember, my outro is always like a two times. <laughs> At least I'm going to get going one time. I know a lot of you are like, yeah, yeah. She's going to say that, but she's not really leaving. <laughs> and then the second time I say it, I usually leave. So I'm going to get going. I'll be back later this evening. I hope everybody has a great day. And me and Buck and Red, the carnival. Red is right there, hanging out close by too. He always stays close by too. Hi, Red. Hi, pretty boy. Yeah, who's my pretty boy? He's so cute. I love that bird. So cute. Yeah. Aw, he went on the tree even closer now. He's right there. That's Red, Buck. That's your friend, too. Yeah, so I will be back later this evening. Oh, look at Red. So cute. Hope everybody has a great day. There you are. You're so pretty, Red. Yeah, you're so pretty. Grab the corn. All right, everyone. I'll be back later. Ciao for now.